the craziest thing happens when you can't mow your lawn for three weeks and you get a big, tall, long grass and see a white patch of cotton. I have never seen this before and I thought it was the coolest thing. Um, you guys know my books are based around Alice in Wonderland down the rabbit hole. Can't tell you how many books I have with rabbits in them. Can't tell you how much I love rabbits. So here we go. This here is just a patch of grass at the very back of the yard that had have, have a lot of white fur around it. Um, based on my research, and I've done a ton, these rabbits right here are a couple of days old. Um, at first, I literally thought, are they mice? You couldn't even really tell that they were rabbits. And at that point, I had no idea how many were in there. Um, we'll get to that soon because these guys are going to grow fast. So if you've never seen this before, I mean, this is as real as it gets. Um, but that's what a baby rabbit hole looks like. That hole was probably, I don't know, three, four inches deep, um, maybe eight inches wide. And, um, there we go. There they are. This is a day or two later. As you can see, their eyes aren't open, but they're much more active. And it's in, like I said, you can tell it's kind of hard to know, like, exactly what they are. Obviously, you've got big ears, so that's a hint. Their feet were also really, really big. If you look at their feet, you can kind of tell. And when you can get the right angle, you can see the little bit of a tail. So these are actually cottontail rabbits, um, bunnies. And, um, you know, there's been cottontails running all over the yard for two summers now, but um, this is new. So here's what they look like in the little nest. And then as you can see, the mom who um, is a great mom named Thumper uh, covered them up every time she was done feeding them. Mom rabbits come and feed at sunset and at uh, sunrise to make sure that no one sees them. Um, they keep them covered during the day and they do not stay with their babies during the day. So the best thing you can do if you do find a rabbit nest is put some sort of a laundry basket or um, other sort of porous type box over the nest so that they can still get airflow and all that but they're protected from predators. Um, Every day I went back to check on them and you will be shocked how fast they grew. I think it was a total of nine days and they were out of the nest. I mean, obviously it wasn't the first day when they were discovered, but it was pretty early in. I mean, they barely have hair here and you'll see by the end of the video how quickly they look like real bunnies. So there they are. Um, I think it was around this point when I was able to count them and saw that there were seven. And apparently five to eight is pretty typical. Sometimes more, sometimes less. So seven was a pretty standard amount. Um, you can see the little tails. There is a myth that you cannot touch rabbits, uh, wild rabbits, because your scent will make the mother rabbit not come back. And that's absolutely not true. It's just a myth. Um, the mother rabbit is gonna be fiercely protective. This one was she was every day on time to feed them. I was able to watch her feed them, but it was too dark morning and night to get video of that. Um, she came back. Here they're getting a little older and you can see learning how to kind of get around, but their eyes are still closed. So, um, this, this little guy is a little bit adventurous. You can see how small that hole is. That, that hole is about the size of my hand, maybe a little bit bigger. There are those big feet in that. You can see that little cotton tail. Super soft too. They have that like really fine hair like a newborn, a real baby would, you know, a human baby pretty cool.
Here they all are, jammed up in that little hole. And as they got bigger, the mom um, was packing that nest tighter. And I think it's because they were moving around more. And so just to keep them sort of out of predator sight, she was packing it with dirt, all of that. And eventually she could not pack them tight enough. As you can see, this was probably the seventh, about a week in. Um, you can now recognize that they are definitely rabbits. Here we are, day about 11, right as they're about to leave the nest, starting to get curious and had to be kind of pushed back into the nest. They were ready to go. That's how quick, I mean, that was the thing that shocked me the most was how fast they grew. Like, just crazy to me. Um, what started off as a couple of inches just turned into a full-blown recognizable bunny in a week's time. They were just the cutest things ever. Here we go. This is the day, a couple of hours actually, before they left the nest. You can see they, you know, they look like real rabbits you see in the wild. Obviously a little bit small, but starting to look around and figure out what's going on. Um, it looked like there was five boys and two girls in this litter. This one right here is a boy. I think on this picture, at this point, yeah, these were the last four that were remaining. I think three had already left the nest. This was right as they were starting to leave. These were the kind of the the holdouts that stayed a little bit longer. By a little bit, I mean 20 minutes. On the last day that, here you go, you can see. Look how quick, just off he goes into his new life. It's kind of sad. I was in a routine that every day I'd go check on the bunnies. Anyway, all of them, all seven did great. They made it off into the world. Each one hopped up that cliff into the woods and away they go. And now I'm hoping I'll see them around with mom. Um, yeah, and I'm hoping she'll do it again. They say bunnies um, breed twice a season, so we'll see. All right, guys, you have a great day. Um, I just thought this was so cool, so I thought you might want to see it too. Talk to you soon.